where do we even start when you're looking for a boat online? That's how our journey started. We wanted to buy a boat. We had no idea where to begin. And so today's episode is to show you where we looked, what we did, what we liked, what we didn't, and what eventually we ended up buying. Welcome to the Tiny Wee Boat channel. My name's Hannah. We've created this channel because we are currently going on a journey from buying a small boat to renovating it into a livable project. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to boats. However, let's give it a go. Enjoy the videos that we've created. Feel free to give us any hints or tips. We've never done this before, so wish us luck. So obviously, turn to Google. We had never bought a boat before. Luckily, Google came too. We found lots of forums. Apollo Duck was the website that came up the most. This was the most recommended. It's a really great website. You can go on, put your budget, your location, and there's always options there with great descriptions and ways for you to contact the owners. In the forums, it also mentioned eBay. We looked on eBay and actually it was there that we managed to find our boat eventually. So the first boat that we went to see was the Moonraker. Here's a picture of it here. It was a really beautiful boat. We drove about an hour and a half to go and view. We were super excited. We brought the deposit in hand. We thought this was gonna be the one. Um, so we went to see the boat, as you can see here. We really loved it. However, we thought it was a bit too big. This was my favorite part. This was a secret room to the right hand side, single berth. Loved it. You've got your kitchen to the right hand side, like a dinette area. And then through this door, you do have two single berths. If we had bought this boat, we would have got rid of that wall, made like a curtain separation and made it into a big double bed. There I am given a wave. So here is the bathroom, shower room, wet room, whatever it is that you want to call it. Um, very compact, great boat. But unfortunately, the boat was not for us. It was too big. The condition needed a lot of work. We loved the secret room to the left, but we learned from this that we wanted a smaller boat that would fit into the canals. Then we went to see the Creighton 32. Now this was amazing. We really loved this boat. It was perfect for canal sizes. It would have been able to fit in any canals. It had two sort of separate sleeping areas. Here is the first one. You also have a little sink to your right hand side. It didn't have a kitchen area, which is something we would have added had we purchased this boat. This is where you control the boat. Your engine is under the floor here. You also have steering and the central cockpit. We don't really like the central cockpit. Here's the toilet. You can just about stand in here to have a shower. It was like a wet room. And then here is your other living area. This was my favorite part of the boat was the outside. I could just imagine myself sitting, cruising along the canal. However, Victor couldn't stand in this boat and that's the main reason we didn't go for it. So we thought the size was perfect. It was in great condition. We really loved everything, but what we learned from this is that we really needed a boat that we were able to stand in. Thirdly, we went to see this Springer. Now this was a really exciting boat. We decided that we wanted something small after seeing the Creighton as well. It was narrow enough to go through the canals. 
Condition wise, it was an empty shell and that's what we were looking for. But you can see there's not really much on the inside. It has everything that you need for a renovation project. You've got two single sleeping areas there and you could also have a double sleeping area up the top. Again, my most favourite thing about this boat was the outside area at the front. However, it hadn't been moved in years. There was no survey. We didn't know where to start with this one. So although it was ideal, we had no idea of the hull and we had no idea how to lift a boat, get it surveyed, get it blackened. No idea. Then we went to see the Wilderness Beaver. So we've got a little tour here. This is from the front of the boat. You've got some sort of seating area at the front. We'll get a full tour of the Wilderness Beaver later on. So this was perfect. Perfect size. It wasn't in the water. We could look at the hull and make sure it was in good condition. We could access it at all times, it already had storage. The size was ideal, the condition was needing work but perfect. We loved that it was trailable, fiberglass and it really felt doable for us and we learned that it was the boat. We bought the beef! Yes! We all love it and that is our video for today. So I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to give us a like and hit subscribe if you liked the video. Our next video is going to be a tour of the beef with some history and information so thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon